Uh, I'm kind of scared of San Diego. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Dodgers too, but no, nah, I don't really. <laughs> Both gonna be tough. How was practice today? Steve mentioned um, being dissatisfied with the defensive effort yesterday, especially in the first half. Mm -hmm. what, what did you guys work on, and what did you take away from kind of yeah? Yeah. Uh, sixty-six points at the half uh, was just too much. Um, we obviously got another step or maybe a few more steps to take there. But um, I think today the energy was good. It's, it's still preseason. Like, you know, just you're out there making bonehead mistakes, you know, things you just got to get cleaned up for the regular season. Um, so, you know, it's, you know, you just got to be wise with it, watch film, learn from it, and go from there. Kyle, Steve was in here a minute ago. He said that he has, like, at least 13 guys who should be rotational type Yeah. <laughs> uh, you've been on some good teams. Mm -hmm. You've seen this team's death. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of us. It reminds me a lot of uh, my um, the, the, the team that when we lost to Golden State when Kawhi got injured. Like, you know, Kawhi and Tony Parker went down. You got Derek White, DeJounte Murray, and myself on the bench who are, you know, NBA guys now. Um, but we were ready to step up and contribute at minutes. So, um, you know, we're a real deep team. It's going to be tough on him just like he had to do in the summer with figuring out lineups and rotations. Um, it's, you know, that's a job I'm, I'm happy I don't have. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Quick decision is just when he's making shots, what does that open up? Yeah, that's tough. Um, you know, I think that opens up the floor a lot, a lot more opportunity for him to get downhill and get to the rim. That's what he really wants to do. So when he's knocking down that open one, that's huge. I mean, we're going to need that from him. Uh, Dre, Dre shot the ball well as well. Like, you know, when, when, if we could shoot the ball well like that all season, you know. Yeah, just the importance. I mean, 0.5 basketball, right? How, mm -hmm. how does that play a role in yeah, it's, it's a big role because we have so many weapons out there. You know, you got Melton, Buddy uh, playing and shooting the way they did, um, J.K., Dre. Um, you got guys like myself and Wiggs. Um, like, it's it's just a lot of weapons, a lot of guys who can make things happen. So, you know, for uh, for us to hold the basketball would just be doing us a disservice. You know, if, if we don't have something, we get off it to the next guy, and we know we're going to make something happen. You've been around Anthony a bit. So what do you like, what do you know about him, and what are you seeing from him? Uh, since he's looking pretty healthy. Yeah, uh, I mean, pretty much the same thing you guys know. Um, he can shoot the ball really well. He's just a good overall player. Like, you know, he guards. He does everything. He can rebound really well. He has long arms. He's athletic. He gets deflections, knocks down shots. He can play the point for you. Like, he just does a lot of everything for him. He's like a complete basketball player. That's why, that's why I've always liked his game. You may have just answered it a little bit there, but do you see any of, like, Derek White in Melton? Oh, uh, I never really thought of that, but yeah, yeah, you kind of do. That's that's a really good point, actually. I've never thought of that, but you know, looking at it, um, you know, D White is a guy that does everything, anything you ask him to do. D White's sneaky, athletic. He can shoot the ball. That's the same thing as Melt. So yeah, that's that's a very good comparison. See you guys. That's it. You got one more? I think, yeah, I think that's it for now. Cool. You look like you want another question, though. I don't. <laughs> Go home to my son. From all indications, from what we've seen, you've had a really strong camp, strong start to the preseason. How would you assess the way you've played so far? Uh, yeah, really strong. Even uh, like practice-wise, uh, behind the scenes, everything's been going really good for me. Are there any specific areas where you feel like things are going well? Yeah, uh, like I like I said in the off season, I worked a lot on movement. So I feel a lot better, like small little aches and pains that I was feeling at first. I figured out way, better ways to move more efficiently. Uh, same thing for coming into my shot. Um, even, the shots, even the shots that I miss, I know why I miss. I, I, I feel my body better, uh, the ball handling, um, just more, being more comfortable with it, being able to make decisions, make plays. Uh, I, I, feel, I feel really good. Stylistically, how do, you, how do you feel like you fit just with transition up tempo, it feels like the, the the whole team is playing together really well like that. How do you feel in that kind of system? Yeah, I like it because, like I said, like being able to move better, move freely uh, without the aches and pains and all of that, like uh, that allows me to be able to run up and down, play, uh, jump, fly, move, play defense. Like I feel really good. What did you do to change the way you move? Yeah, you move it's all been learning. Uh, I mean, I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas, so I've 
searched for it all my life, it's, and I've been able to find it. I used to I had a, I had a trainer back home that uh, he came. He knew that he knew my coach. So then I just started riding with him after school and going to work out at his gym. Like so I've always been looking for training in the right ways to do stuff. But uh, like at this level, I'm, I'm exposed to Rick. Uh, I'm exposed to the, the training staff here. In the summertime, I was working out at Proactive. I was working out with my guy Dash, and it, and like that's been the theme all summer, just learning the right way to do stuff. Because I a lot of like I've, I'm I'm always been on the search for knowledge, but I'm all having it hasn't always been available to me. So now that I'm now that it is, just maximizing that, just learning. Uh, it's like the simple stuff, the basics. Like I said, I'm from Little Rock, so a long way from any NBA team or anything like that. So I just I, I grew up playing. I just got straight to playing. But figuring out the right, right way to start running, to take off with power, the right way to stop, how your foot should hit the ground, um, how to – like just, just all of those like basic type of things is things that I've been working on. Moses, <clears throat> when you guys shoot like you did last night, and win the game in an opposing arena like that, even though it's a preseason game, obviously. But what's the feeling like when you leave the arena about in terms of how the team feels? Uh, a lot better than the last time we left that arena. <laughs> nah, it For sure. Feels, it feels good just to, like, you know, we do it in, we do it in practice, but then to be able to uh, do it with the jersey on and then do it. Uh, knock it down at such a high velocity like that, that that's, that's really that's really good for your for your feel. You, you have been on a championship team here yet I keep hearing about how deep this team is are you seeing that yeah yeah it definitely is a lot of talent when you say a lot of talent though what are you seeing that makes it makes you believe this team could be really good uh stack was talking about it today he was getting on to somebody I really like stack for one but uh just he, he from the CC like he, I like the way he talk I like the way he the way he get on the stuff to where it's like like he keep he talking he talking he might be talking to you like aggressively and all that but he trying to tell you something like like get it feel it rather than the whole not trying to hurt your feelings and all of that then it get confusing but uh, he was saying something about just the like the intensity that we can play with just because of the because of the depth like the way that the way that we can play and. Uh, I can't make the point exactly how he said it, but what he said, I liked. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> well, I mean, Stack, you know, yeah, he doesn't mess around. You know, he gives it to you straight. But uh, And Steve was in here earlier, and he said that, you know, he liked, liked the offense but didn't like the defense last night. Is that something that Stack may be addressed? Uh, yeah, but it's like – it's small stuff. Like, we got beat back door a couple times. Uh, I, let, I, I got beat middle a couple times, but – Overall, like those are mistakes that you can say that was the problem, rather than everybody confused on stuff or like uh, none of I know where to be or you getting you getting beat every time both ways whatever it is. It's like you can address what that problem is and you can fix that. Yeah. Now Steve also said that he has at least thirteen guys that are rotation NBA players on this roster. When you hear that, what do you think? Uh, good D team. <laughs> what does it mean for you? I mean, I'm on a D team, yeah. so you know, competition, competitive. See, we'll see how it go. We've uh, we've seen you, I think, in the last practice earlier this week, working in the in the ones group with Wiggins. How has he looked, just in terms of getting back from his illness? Yeah, yeah, he he looking good. We were working out together today at the practice. Uh, the ones is always fun. Just getting that, just getting able to work on your game, play with some stuff. Uh, but yeah, he looking good. Oh, we didn't play one. We just worked out together. Light day. Yeah, yeah. How you're going to play this year? We shot it um, fantastically. You know, I kept looking up at the the little stats. Um, pretty much shot 60% from three the whole game. Um, everybody was feeling good, sharing the ball. Um, and then that was just rubbing off. Um, as new rotations, new players came in, the ball just kept moving, kept going in for us. Um, realistically, you know, that's what we're going to shoot for. You know, that's our, our confidence is going to always be there. Um, some nights it won't. So um, our focus right now is defensively. If we can hold teams under a certain amount of points, um, whether the shots go in or not, we'll be fine. What do you like about the pace you guys are playing with? Yeah, it's a, another key that we're working on is just trying to play faster, get the ball at the net, um, get it up the floor. We want, you know, easy corner threes or layups. So 
Um, I like the pace that we run. And, uh, you know, as we start to get more comfortable with these uh, sets and, and the flows and the personnel, um, I think it'll just get better and better. As a defender, um, what's it like playing against teams that have that kind of pace? I mean, what does that do to a defense? It's tough. Um, you know, they got to really be locked in with the communication side of things. Um, when you have multiple shooters out on the floor, there's, you know, there's threats all over, opens up slip lanes, um, back cuts. Um, but just like the constant movement and uh, the unpredictability of the offense is just really hard to guard. Uh, Steve was in here earlier and he said that he feels like he has at least 13 players that are rotation type players in the NBA and you're one of those guys. What do you think about this this team's depth and what you're seeing from the team overall? Uh, yeah, we're really deep. Um, you know, but that's just a testament of this organization and the guys that we have in the locker room. Uh, we all come in and, and put the work in and um, we're all ready for our opportunity. And, you know, when our numbers is called, we're going to show up. So no matter who's on the floor, you know, we're rooting for him. And uh, our main goal is just to win every single game. Uh, while admitting that the defense wasn't where you wanted to be last night, when you shoot the ball that well as a team, what's the feeling like when you leave the, the arena? Uh, you know, offensively, it feels good. Um, but you got to look yourself in the mirror and uh, find out what you can get better at. Um, you know, was something I took away from Oklahoma City was uh, just trying to get better every single game, win or lose. Uh, you can kind of get foggy in all the wins, um, and you don't improve. So uh, just watching film, individually trying to get better, and as a team, lock in on the things that we can do and, uh, you know, just carry it on to the next day.